Hello, welcome back to Manage Sushi Life Learning. In this episode, I want to talk about the point um, render that's available with Render 3.1 and 3.2 um, at the moment. So, yeah, like I said before, with the latest Blender, you can simply um, assign a shader and it will actually render the points. And you can do this using a geometry node. Okay, say. Um, this is gonna be like super basic. I'm just gonna tackle like the super basic stuff inside geometry nodes. So you can render this mesh as point by simply using mesh to points. Okay, by doing that, you are turning the default cube into eight points because we have uh, eight vertices. Okay, so this is the basic idea, and whatever points here. It's gonna be rendered as sphere if you are using cycles. Okay, I will create light, sunlight. I will delete the default light. So we have this cube with eight uh, spheres now, and with cycles we have now point info nodes. There's also point density that's uh, I think more related to particles, since we're gonna be able to render. Uh, geometry as mesh maybe soon we we are able to render particles as uh, geometry nodes instance or something like that but for now uh, let's not look at this point density let's save this first so this is just point exploration so points of course is the simplest things that uh, can exist okay and in geometry nodes so everything is points and points have positions so we can turn on spreadsheet if you want to see the points so points have positions have radius it actually have a uv map as well which is pretty neat um, with this point info we can we can use the positions and we should be able to see some color Okay, maybe not uh, for this, but if I try to use distribute points on faces, I'm distributing random points on the cube. Now we have some more points to render, um, and we can increase the density. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I think position, normally this will give something like a color but for now maybe we just use random so if we use random plug into the color ramp or actually just yeah and this goes into the base color oh i know i know why it doesn't work we have material here but we need to set it yeah i sometimes forget that okay now it's working and we can see now the position is affecting the color as well so based on the position in XYZ, it's influencing the base color. Radius actually can be used as well. But for now, just use random. So random value for each point plug into the color ramp will give you this type of look. And this is neat as you can also use it to for something like roughness. If you increase the metalness, now you, you start to see there's like a some kind of random roughness and at the same time you have metallic and it's, a, it's quite nice looking uh, I think the sphere um, geometry based on the points is gonna look nice uh, when you render this out uh, using cycles you can also turn on subsurface scattering and add a bit of color so let's try for example if you want to give like a rainbow color to our points we can try doing this clockwise yep so plug in random random is a value between 0 and 1 for each point plug into the base color and this one can be like that or this goes into the subsurface and this can be darker color 
so it's starting to look like a like an egg like a fist row egg I think this is pretty neat uh, you can play around with this uh, of course uh, on your own time but let's try to do something try to render something that's a little bit more interesting so we don't need to look at the spreadsheet all the time um, let's see okay so I turn off the subsurface for now so it's gonna render a lot faster random color okay maybe color ram just with a some random value just a simple one let's try this color like that or maybe like if it's like a fist row orange between orange and red maybe this could be like yellow color you can also <clears throat> turn on transmissions and it's gonna turn it into glass so it's, uh, it's it's even gonna look more interesting especially if you have like a environment um, for now I just leave it like this so let's uh, let's allow continue with this if you start with a cube you're gonna get just the cube right it's not so interesting if you want to play around a little bit you can use mess line for example and and then you use random set point point position by doing this um, we're gonna be using mesh line to start with and then we have control over the counts and we can reset the positions using random value vector for example um, so between minus one and one and then plug this into the positions and into the set material oh actually we need we need to use mesh to points and set material so now we have 10 points by default we can increase the numbers so we, we basically have like random position points and from here if you want to make it more interesting you can then assign something like noise and just want to offset this guy and let's turn this into 4d so we can animate the w so we, we can have like wiggling sphere okay don't forget okay the radius also you can use random value plug into the radius to have some variations of the sphere <laughs> it looks like a Christmas uh, sphere ball because we use this roughness maybe just turn it off it looks kind of funny okay like this it's a little bit more like fist row especially if you turn on subsurface scattering and play with the roughness okay we have freeze throw now it's actually a, like I said it's a glass right so maybe you want to have like a sky texture now we have like a fist row or dragon balls uh, okay let's uh, continue here so we have the this value that we can wiggle using time okay math oh i forgot the the noise is need uh, needs to be normalized so we use the vector math just add a minus 0 0.5 so it's uh, centered again and you can you can play around with the noise with the scale of the noise so small scale larger scale it's gonna wiggle more and also you can use another vector math just to multiply this like this and scale okay okay that's uh, a little bit strong we like it to be like the noise to be like this but we scale it okay now we have like a kind of like a like a living egg 
So that's a one way you can uh, experiment with uh, these points. It's a, it's rather uh, already kind of interesting, but you can do a little bit more. For example, if you have like sketch of nodes, I will give you a simple one. My favorite is to use torus node because torus node looks nice. And then as the output, I will be using polyline viewer. Just plug these vertices into the polyline. Now we have this curve. We can increase the number of coil. Change the radius. Okay, so this is just the basic. And this guy, we need to turn on cyclic. So this guy is from Sverchok, the output is curve, but you can turn this into geometry nodes. If you actually assign geometry nodes and our fist row, okay, we're gonna lose the original shapes. Let's create an, uh, the duplicates of geometry nodes there. So we're gonna use the original shapes. And Let's see, distribute the points on. So we're gonna be using the original geometry. So where's the alpha? No group output attributes connected. Mess on points. Input geometry has unsupported point cloud. Okay, let's try this first. So our our curve has been turned into points and we should should be able to render this out. So we have like a lots of fist row there. So we still have control over the radius here and the curve resolutions. The radius oh interesting we get a two curve okay uh, that's all right so from here I think this with points on face we can plug this there Okay, yeah, here I'm using the same setup of the noise. Basically, uh, it's randomizing our torus shapes. This mic started to look like uh, particles, but it's still like the, like a normal shapes. Okay, uh, you one, one thing you might notice, however, uh, okay, we have distributed points on face, okay? This is only distributing points on the face. How about the actual volume? What if you actually want the volume? We can we can do that. Uh, let's try. I ju I'm just gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna make this like that. And we want to use the volume. Um, let me think. I want to use the volume of these coils, okay, and I'm gonna append uh, this GM fill volume. This is from the internet. Actually, Benny, Benny showed this to me, um, Benny Govert, and the uh, GM fill volume is basically like this. Okay, it's a random value. So it's using the bounding box, basically, from our objects. It's gonna use bounding box and then just create a random value and then using raycast and dot product and delete geometry is to it's deleting the points that outside but keeping the points that's the that's in the inside okay short story it will create points as a volume 
so it's actually really using the volume and this is quite quite interesting setup it's quite advanced uh, it looks pretty simple but I think it's uh, quite cool it's basically turning mesh volume into points okay so that's nice when we can use the same setup the fifth row oh okay and we should get our points maybe I need to increase the size so we only need to worry about the points radius and the point positions that's the whole points of this experiment just to show you okay it's gonna look uh, pretty cool just as it is just like a bunch of points if you imagine like a like a grain of sands and if you ever look at the sands it's a it's just basically like points like a lot of little spheres if you look closer of course it's not just points it's just like a there's actually a lot of shapes underneath and that's really the basic idea of geometry nodes its points can become just like a sphere or if you instance it you can, it can become like a instance and it can be of any shapes that's more complex okay um what else from here as it is starting to look like particles you can actually use particles as well if you ever want to do that so maybe this is for future video tutorial so but basically if you want to use particles create particles bake the particles as alembic and then bring it back as mesh uh, point animations and then use it with geometry nodes and it should work okay um so yeah that's pretty much it it's a it's just a quick introductions on this points and render this out as um, sphere with the latest version of um, blender this is possible and I think you can create really cool maybe you can create like a sandman's kind of effects using this method as well um, yeah maybe I'll try something like that and show it to you but that's pretty much it so this uh, like a fist row generators using points and point info nodes all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye